Pushes up moderately aggressively here. That's, uh, that is that is an aggressive positioning coming out from Pride, and Monkeys is going to show his face here. Flares takes a lot of damage, though. Pride just wants to go in, forces the flash away. Monkeys now jumping in. I don't think Monkeys is going to be able to kill Pride 1v1, though. I do believe Dan is heading up. And if Monkeys overcommits to this, he may be in trouble. As Dan and lands in that, essentially in a 2v1. Good yeah, stuff from him, and then now immediately the engage of the bot lane. That is the point-and-click CC. Kavo, the turrets will zone away, Matty. They can't actually go for the execute here. Hado doing a good job of just applying as much pressure as possible to Bravado after the, in the fact of that engage, and then she forces the flash away as well. Matty oh. dodges out. That's a lot of damage coming in. Suddenly TP now things coming turn in around. from Pride, though. That is a TP coming in from Pride. Kavo does not have the uh, flash available to him. Pride's going to jump through. Just needs to land one more Q, and he will. And now Dan coming through as well. Haddo going to be a potential target here as Dan looking to land the pillar. But that is a good... But it means that Monkeys potentially show topside, and they can look for something here. Yeah, Flares has popped that ultimate. He's to go straight in onto Pride now, trying to look for the 1v1 potential. Pride now trying to do, back, do what he can to bounce back. In the 1v2 scenario, but he also wouldn't have died there, most likely based on how he plays. And we are seeing even more aggression from Pride. I think he might even be able to pick up the kill here, Ericsson. That's actually Magic Felix getting in. Nice little shuffle of pressure onto Ericsson now, who does get knocked up by Pride. And is the Herald in the pocket of Dan, if they find something in the bot lane, could expand, but now Pride just, yeah, you're just gone. He's just gone again, and you can see exactly where Monkus' focus is right now. Pride doing what he can, but now the Q is down. Hado's going to be a target here. Dan will pick up that kill. They are going to be trading top side. And then the Haima, I think, has done a good job of just, like, making it very difficult to punish. But right now, they're looking once again. Going to go for it onto Hado here. Hado taking TP. very low. The the double team is there, and now Monkeys is returning. Dan actually forced to back out. He will go down. The double TP working wonders here. Pride is on the bottom side of the map. I think Bravado just dies as well. Barrage. Playing around the ribbon, this could be a critical moment, but one of the teams just pulls ahead. or I could get back into it. Ferris is looking for the flank onto Magic Felix right now. I'm going to fall the back away. Monkeys jump, dives in. Pride immediately the target. Good ultimate from Haddo as well. The that is the go button. The combo is disgusting. And that is a white one. Again. I mean, he just, you don't need to go for the wave, mate. You need to sit under the turret. Flair is just, again, going to jump in. He's uh, he's going to force the ultimate away from Pride. Dies back and forth. Here comes Magi Felix, however. This might be enough. Oh, Good great ult. Stopping. Obviously making a harder target. And it means this, very, this one 3 3 one is very difficult to deal with. But now, Flair's going aggressive. He's going aggressive here, trying to go for the turret dive on to Pride, who actually pops the stopwatch in a pretty good location. Flair is overextending, trying to push a little bit too far, and that's the GA going down now. This is trapped in that pit, and the grenade's going to come through. There is the teleport immediately, like you said. Dan now moving forward. Monk is immediately using the stopwatch. Great ultimate coming out from Haddo. A big shove away from Flair as Magic Felix already very low. And Fnatica being routed here by Barrage. Haddo will pick up the kill. Magic Felix is still alive though, and the soldiers are still doing damage. This is definitely... down. Actually, bro, Monk is still up and he's healing up. The critical thing is he's healing up on the war mogs. The pillar's gonna stop that, but he's gonna go in for the smite. He's going to try and go for the smite. Will it be smite versus rend in this situation? Monkeys get it. He will stop the soul. But Matty has now found an opportunity to push forward. Magi Felix continues that pressure as Matty does get popped in the GA. Greedy. Kevin can Haddo's kill him. Mistimes and Kev he mistimes it. But they still stop the soul going through here. They may even get the inhibitor with the minions as well. This is a good situation overall. Haddo, uh, he just dies. Shut down actually goes over to Matty. And now the rest of Fnatic are looking for it. Kevo immediately has to pop that. Zonia's, but it, he's level 17. He's actually j uh, tied with flares for the highest level in the game. Wait, it's but, just, I mean, it's just about to be gone. gone. It's just about to be gone. gone. That is the power of his ear. Oh, he gets the steal. Monkis finds that steal and he takes the Baron away from us here because Matty has just shown himself in the bottom side of the map, but he will dive over the wall here. Uh, bravado? Bravado? Br bravado? Bravado? Br bravado. Okay. Not really sure what else to say about it. He does actually get... Oh, wait a second. He actually gets pulled out there. And uh, they'll trade one... Oh, no, they they want to force here. the fight. They want to force the team fight. 
Yeah, I think they need to, because that's where Magi Felix shines. It's going to be a teleport coming in from the back here from Magi Felix. Immediately the engage happens. Fate School has been thrown out, but there's so many low health bars for Fnatic on the back line. Pride doing what he can as Flares jumps in, gets a big flash stun. Now Magi Felix is dominating. What can he do with those soldiers as Matty forced to jump away? He's kiting. Flares back. Magi Felix is routing Barrage on the other side of the Baron Pit. Somehow Fnatic came out of this, the victors, even though it's a one for one. But and the result is... isn't enough. The result no, isn't no. enough because Monkers is still alive with Warmogs. He has Smite. Now they're going to try and utilize the Rend here to win the Smite fight. But ultimately, it's going to be a difficult ask. Monkers is there. He's looking. He's it's looking low enough. And he does. It's low enough. Can Monkers get it? He can't. The Rends are big enough this time. And you only get that top lane inhibitor, which you've talked about. Not that influential. Kevo actually died. Wait a second, I'm still watching Pride on my screen right now. I, I think Kevo's just dead. This might just be game for Fnatic. I missed what happened. What happened with Kevo there? I it, we didn't see on my screen. He got rendered. Uh, x ah. threw two spears into him and just popped. <laughs> that just popped him. And now they're trying to keep Flares from backing the ultimate. Is that the f I think that might be the first ultimate I've actually seen from Bravado this game. He pops it already. Pride chasing Flares down. That's going to be Magi Felix with this Emperor's Divide. And suddenly Barrage have absolutely lost it just right when it counted they got battered by Badgie Felix in that mid lane the triple kill comes through and somehow